Now, obviously, when it comes to design, we have two very different philosophies. Now, on the one hand, we have the soft touch plastic and the smooth curves of the Galaxy S5 with now a soft touch plastic back. While on the other hand, we do have the iPhone 5S that delivers a very premium feel throughout its clean lines and its metal construction. Uh, one phone delivers massive screen real estate, while the other one is a compact build that definitely is uh, at home in pretty much any pocket. Both phones feature physical home buttons that integrate fingerprint scanners this time, as Samsung has added a swipe-based fingerprint scanner underneath its home button. You'll have to slide your finger across as compared to Apple's implementation in which you can just press onto the home button. Depending on what you really want out of your screen, the battle here might seem a little bit one-sided. It's very hard to compare two screens when there is a 1.1 inch difference between them, and the result is a much larger surface for obviously the Galaxy S5. The iPhone 5S's screen has been praised for its accurate color production and for its great uh, display quality. But in the other corner, the Galaxy S5 does have a higher pixel density, is larger in general for media consumption, and has the vivid colors and lush blacks that really make Super AMOLED screens some of the favorites. When it comes to the performance, we are dealing with two different philosophies once again. iOS is known for its fluid animation and impressive optimization, especially in the iOS 7 that was introduced in the 5S. It does sail through most of its tasks, but the processor found inside of the iPhone 5S also has 64-bit processing built in. Now contrast this to the Galaxy S5, which sports Snapdragon processing that clocks in at 2.5 gigahertz. Now this is a huge increase compared to previous models. And also, since it is a quad-core processor, its philosophy is is obviously different from the processor found in the iPhone 5S. Well, in either case, you are definitely going to get the speed you need. Now, when it comes to the hardware, Samsung really trying to put everything into their new Galaxy device definitely gives it the lead by a bit of a margin because it just has a much bigger number of features compared to the iPhone 5S. It has everything from NFC to a micro SD card slot and a removable battery, but also uh, one feature that was very interestingly included onto the S5 was a heart rate monitor on the back in which you can check your heart rate by laying your finger on top of the area. Uh, the somewhat more limited iPhone does include a fingerprint scanner, so that's where they have a similarity here. But to be honest, the polished experience of the iPhone does lack the sheer number of features that Samsung has put into the newest flagship. We might see a very close call when it comes to the camera department. Now, uh, despite the fact that the Samsung Galaxy S5 features a lot more inside of its app compared to the more limited version of the iPhone camera app, we will see that the quality might actually be on par between both. The 16 megapixel ISO cell uh, sensor found in the S5 should give the excellent iPhone camera a run for its money because it sports great power with a lot of those settings made to get truly the most out of your smartphone photography iOS did receive its big revamp last year, and it did move to a flatter, brighter, and more abstract interface. It still was a somehow simplistic but still very fast operating system, and a lot of iPhone users really stand by the reliability of their iOS. Samsung's UI has gone through its own transformation on the Galaxy S5, but it may not be quite as drastic comparatively. Yes, there were some changes to some of the elements, but overall TouchWiz still pretty much looks the same. There is some new multitasking available with that recent apps button, and the magazine, the My Magazine UI rather, is now a second screen all the way on the left of your home screens. The only problem here is that while TouchWiz still remains pretty speedy and pretty fast and reliable, it pretty much still looks the same. And if we were looking for an update to it, we may not have gotten it here on the S5. And so, there you have it, for the two flagship phones that really represent their companies very well. I'll